this video, I just wanted to go through and show some examples of some work that we've been doing. We've recently been doing a lot more work in the Unreal Engine, and we want to now start bringing uh, the characters that we create from Character Creator 4 and bring them into Unreal so that we can uh, make use of the game engine and the real-time rendering. Um, so here are some examples of some characters that we've we've got. So this first character is an anime-style um, avatar. Uh, the model was downloaded from CG Trader, and we put it uh, put it through and set it up in Character Creator 4, and got it working with the facial capture and everything like that. So um, the next thing that we did was bring it into the Unreal Engine, and we basically set up a trigger-based system so that we can bring in pre-made animations and trigger them in a similar way to um, how we do with Adobe Character Animator. And as you can see, this gives you a real good effect with the animations. So these just animations that have been downloaded from the um, Actical website or from Mixamo um, and whatever animations you've got can be loaded onto these characters. Um, a couple of other things that we've added onto this is if you notice if the character jumps, we've added the boob and butt physics as well. So we've got some, uh, I was going to say natural movement, but probably a bit more exaggerated, but that's working with the characters. And we've also got the camera set up so that the face will always look at the audience, which is really important for when you're doing um, live streaming to be able to, uh, for the character to engage with that audience. Uh, the other thing we've done is we've built this into the um, third person setup so that the characters that we build can be triggered and animated. So this is just using some stock animation that I got from Mixamo. But we can make specific animations, so if you want the characters to walk um, like in more of a feminine way, that can be easily added onto this character as well. As you can see as well, we can um, have a green screen set up so that the character can be um, broadcast onto a different background using the usual green screen setup. And the other thing that you might notice with this character as well, over the anime style, we've um, been playing around with like the facial normals so that you can uh, you kind of get that shadow effect um, in a basic way, but we've been um, just playing around. Um, we've tried. We've basically been working on how do we get a um, an alternative to things like live two D and a three D three D version of like uh, Adobe Character Animator. And this is pretty much what we've been coming up with. You can see that we've got some other characters set up down here. So one of the nice things about this, and especially being in the Unreal Engine is that we can uh, make use of some of the different maps as well. So we've got some free downloads on here. So um, we've got this Australian map, which is like super high detail. So let's just say that. So this can be used as a background for your um, live stream. So let's get rid of these. And we're just gonna bring in, I'll use my character for this one. Bring them that. I'm just gonna press play. Hello! So here you can see I am now in this realistic looking scenery. Um, I've got all my triggered animations so I can gesture while I talk. One of the benefits of the trigger based system opposed to the mocap system is that I can run the, sh the stream, you know, I can control the camera movement, I can do all that, and my arms aren't going to be moving around and, uh, you know, you're not going to see my arms moving the mouse and touching the keyboard keys. So, you know, if you're playing a game or something like that, you could just be triggering these animations, uh, but still carry on talking to the audience. Also, this is set up so it will actually work. All these triggers and controls can be mapped to... Um, an Xbox controller, so you know, I can run this character around the scene as if he was a game. So, you know, he can be walking along, chatting away. You can explore the environment. 
But we can also like move the camera, you know, in a different position so that you could have, um, you know, a screen up in the left or the right and then, you know, the, you could be gesturing and talking to uh, screens and have cuts and things like that that are set up in something like OBS. Another thing that we've been looking into is hair. So this is a very, very quick test because we've literally just started looking into this. Um, and we're going to be building a character soon uh, that we want to build a full Muppet based character, which is just going to be full of hair. And we're going to make use of the dynamic system, uh, hair system, do some cool stuff. But we thought we'd just throw this one in here now, just as a quick example of how the hair can look and it looks and works pretty well. Again, this character isn't specifically set up um, with these animations, that's why his arms are sticking out a little bit, but you can see that all these characters share the same animations, which is pretty cool as it means that we can build a library of um, animations that, we, that can work on lots of different character types. Testing one, two. Okay, let's go into another map. We've got this um, kind of like a uh, more of a cartoony type scene. Actually, we can put the unicorn loaded into this one. Testing one, two. Hello, welcome. So again, we've got this uh, anime style character, which looks quite nice. One thing that we do also have um, that I've been playing around with is the different render styles. And um, we've got this plugin that we've downloaded. And I've already got some materials set up, so I'm going to drag a few of these onto this character. There we go. So as you can see on this now, it's got like a cool like kind of um, drawing type effect. And I think on this blueprint here, I just need to turn the light down on the face. So as you can see with Unreal, there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do. Um, I see this probably needs, uh, the settings need adjusting. A little bit better for this, but um, you can see it's added like the outlines to the character. And let's just add this a bit more. It's added that cool, like, kind of anime effect, uh, draw effect. So, yeah, we just wanted to um, kind of share with you what we've been working on, and this is something that we're going to be offering out to uh, customers now. So, if there's any interest, in maybe turning like a live 2D character that you've got or one of your 2D Adobe character animator models into a 3D avatar using this uh, trigger system, get in touch because it's uh, definitely something that we're now going to be interested in offering out to customers. Um, also, we will be making um, a bunch more videos I'm going to be looking into like how we set all this up in Unreal. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff out there. Um, like saying, you know, how to add the physics, um, how to adjust normals on the faces to get um, the anime style, um, how to build the uh, the third person setup so that you can actually um, control the character with a controller, and also. Um, how to set this up so that you can import characters made from Character Creator 4 into the Unreal Engine. And there's other things that we've added into this as well, like if you uh, notice when the head moves, we've set it up so that the, um, the spine also moves as well, just to add a little bit more movement, because normally with the life face it just moves the neck. But again, it's just uh, something that adds a little bit more engagement with that subtle movement. Here's an example of... Um, a character from iClone again. Um, so what this shows is um, it doesn't matter what 
type of um, character style, uh, size. They will all work, and uh, the animations and walking and everything like that should transfer over as well. We need to do a little bit of fine tuning on things like the legs when we add in the animations, but we know how to fix that in the future. Um, so going forward, that will be improved. But like I say, it will be a, we're kind of looking to have something that's an alternative to um, live 2D where we can get fully full 3D characters and custom characters as well. And, bring, uh, and using Unreal, basically giving a lower cost solution for uh, VTubing and uh, live streamers. So we've been working with um, Avatar Creation now for quite a while. And one of the things that we've been looking for for a long time is a solution, 3D avatars, uh, where we can bring in custom animation, custom avatars, and a low cost solution as well. Uh, so we've done a lot of stuff with mocap suits and we've been working with the Accent suit uh, recently, which is fantastic. Uh, but uh, we wanted to find something that was affordable for just everybody, really. So. Um, with Unreal being a free program um, and the big expense is facial capture because you will need an iPhone but a lot of people do have iPhones now anyway so this could be a good solution for VTubing and live streaming. <laughs> 